Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Might seem like a bit of deja vu from my previous video, but I'm back to the same spot that I was at the last day when I was out. And it's a completely different scene now because we have more water. And what I'm here for is sunrise. It's actually quite dark at the moment. You probably can't see that there on that camera, but um, forecasts, they looked good, but they're not good. So what I have got is really, really um, a deep bank of gray clouds. There is a small bit of a gap towards the east. Hopefully I get a bit of light when the sun is coming up. I am 45 minutes away from uh, sunrise, but there is no sign of any color anyway so far. But yeah, I'm going to have a completely different shoot now today and you'll see a complete difference in this beach as well because the water is higher. It is going out. Um, so high tide was around two hours ago, yet it's still nice and high anyway, as far as the beach is concerned. So yeah, let's go. Let's see what we get now this morning. Arriving now onto the beach, I'm greeted with a totally different scene to what I would have done the last time I was here. Now, the water is considerably higher, so all of the rock pools that I was playing around with in the last episode are now gone. It seems as well as the water came quite high overnight because the watermark is quite far up there behind you. Still a lot of seaweed in relation to this particular area here, but I think what I'm going to do is either go this direction or that direction. Now both of them kind of offer something completely different. I'm going to get a bit of light if I look in this direction and I probably won't get any light if I go in that direction but I do prefer the stacks that are on this end so I'm probably going to go up that end anyway first of all just to see what it's like with the water and see what the water levels are like. Is there something there for me to find a shot on before uh, sunrise and then I think I'm going to shoot this direction then for when it comes to sunrise but that's the plan currently based on what I can see in relation to the clouds anyway, but that may change, but we'll go up in here first of all and we'll see what we can find. So the water is a small bit too far out for me to be able to capture any movement around these two, as you can see, very impressive stacks. It's a beautiful location. I've come here a number of times and I've gotten some fantastic images with these two stacks and also with the rocks that are here with the water when it was higher breaking over them. But uh, I think for now I'm probably going to change my direction. I'm going to go to this end of the beach and I'll see what type of composition I can find then from there. And then hopefully we get a bit of light and that might change what I'm going to photograph but for now anyway I think this is definitely a, a no because I photographed the rock pools already and this is just dirty brown seaweed so not really that appealing but yeah we'll go back this way now and we'll see what we can find. As I was walking back up the beach to go to the other end, I spotted here just a couple of rocks that are below me and they acted as, as my thought as a nice anchor point. And with the waves as they're kind of lapping in and around those, what I decided to do was go for a longer exposure. Now, even at the moment, I can get a 13 second exposure. Now, I'm up at F14, uh, so it's not ideal, but it allows me to be able to at least have that to be able to smooth it out a lot more. I have no filters on, all I have on at the moment is my polarizer, just to enable me to be able to darken down and get rid of the bit of sheen that's on the uh, sand here from the hopeful sky that's going to catch a bit of light. But yeah, so I get my first shot anyway in the bag. I don't know if it's going to be a banger of a shot, but it's definitely a shot to kind of start off the morning anyway. We're going to go on up this way now and we'll see what the morning yields. So 
similarly actually to my previous episode, when I started to look for colors, um, this is obviously the Copper Coast. So I spotted a copper colored rock, which is sitting on a bit of sand here below me. And I said, okay, let's see if I can get a shot with that. And I think I've managed to get a shot by waiting for the water to just breach in front or be behind the rock and then cascade back out. You get a nice flow. Settings for that are around one second. Um, I've gone into portrait orientation, but I also took a landscape orientation shot. And I also then as well did a longer uh, exposure as well to be able to kind of smooth out the water. Polarizer again is just taking the, any sheen that's on the sand away, making it a lot darker and obviously making the color of that singular rock as well stand out. But the way I've got it composed is it kind of sweeping around the bay area here and then ending up on these stacks that are behind as well. Now, the water is extremely calm. It's almost flat calm, except for the waves as they break here. But as I'm looking out behind me, there's not much really going on in relation to action. Um, so still not at sunrise yet, but hopefully, like I said earlier on, fingers crossed is that when it does start to come up, I get a bit of a blush of a color. I can kind of see a bit. There is a bit of a break in the clouds as well, so it might work out in the end. But yeah, I'll give you a look at the shots anyway here of this golden nugget um, and then we'll see what else I can find. So as I've moved along the beach there now, I have spotted a group of around five of the copper coloured rocks and they're in again a bit of sand. They're surrounded as well by smaller little stones, but it's a nice framing because I'm able to keep one of these stacks here on the, the one I'm actually, where's my hand? That one, I'm able to keep that uh, in the actual frame and bit over as well to the left hand side just getting a small bit of the headland as well similar to what you see actually there but because the water is so calm um, I'm able to get some different types of exposures so I'm going for a one second exposure at the moment using the polarizer again to take off the sheen but I'm waiting for the water to break in front and then I'm hitting the shutter and it's capturing that water as it breaks in towards the stones and then I also get a shot as it goes back out for a wave that actually reaches them. Some of the waves aren't reaching as you can see here, but every so often I do get a wave and it breaks over the top. But what I'm going to try now is I'm going to try and take probably around maybe a minute of an exposure, completely smooth out all that water and then just leave these stones here prominent in the base of the frame. And then the entire scene should become like glass. So I'm going to set the camera up here for that and I, uh, I'll get that shot. And I'll give you a look at both the images actually, the one second exposures, and then I'll also show you the longer exposure after that. Sticking now with my longer exposures, what I've decided to do is to just tune in to the stacks that are here and go in at 35 mil and then I'm going for a minute long exposure. And the way I've got it framed is I'm only getting a tiny bit of the surf that's actually breaking here in front of me. But what it is doing is it's completely smoothing out the water, kind of more like a minimalist shot. Now, what I might do actually is put on my uh, 7200 and just zoom into that stack alone here. I may not be able to get it up uh, to a longer exposure because I won't be able to put my filters on that other lens, but um, still, nonetheless, I think I'll be able to get that shot now anyway. It is at sunrise, so it was sunrise eight minutes ago, and there is going to be no color even looking in this direction. There's a bit of a gap in the clouds, thankfully, but there is no color. So yeah, I'll give you a look at the wider one anyway now, and then I'll pop on the long lens, and if that works as well, I'll give you a look at that shot after that.
So I think that's going to be the end of my morning. Uh, the sun is well and truly up now and there is no color. But I still think nonetheless, using some long exposures here, I managed to get a couple of nice shots. And I also a moment ago would have changed out again and I went for a, a half a second and a one second exposure well to catch the water as it comes in and out. And I think they would have been nice shots. You'd have seen them anyway already, so you'll know if they worked out or not before me. So I'm going to finish up this episode Hope you've enjoyed coming along on the adventure with me. If it's your first time on the channel, I'd really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment. And if you want to watch another video, I'd recommend this one here. Hit the subscribe button there. And until the next time, Schlange Fall.